Oh, hello. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Miss Perloa's new cookbook of 1882, we're going to be making the meat and potato sandwich. And um, let's just say it's a little unconventional. Let's make the potato part of the sandwich by boiling off some russet potatoes. Okay, to finish our mashed potatoes, we add in butter, pepper, salt, and boiling milk. Now we got to mash the potatoes. Now we add in half a beaten egg. And it's half because I'm having the recipe. Now it says to take slices of meat. I've got roast beef here. It doesn't say how many, so I've got three. And uh, we coat one side with the mashed potatoes. Seriously. Now we flip it over. Do the other side. Now we dip that in egg. And we fry it on both sides. Yep. Yep, that's it. That's the uh, meat and potato sandwich from Miss Parloa's new cookbook of 1882. Let's give it a go. Flavor-wise, it's not bad. Seasoned potatoes, mashed potatoes, a little bit of egg, a little bit of uh, roast beef. I mean, it tastes fine, but I guess the meat is sandwiched between two layers of potato, but um, yeah, I do want to plus this up just a little bit. So first thing I'm going to do is put it onto this uh, lightly toasted herb slab from Acme Baking Company. It's kind of a rosemary type bread. I'm going to add some smoked blue cheese and some pepperoncini. Okay, let's give this meat and potato sandwich plussed up with pepperoncini, smoky blue cheese, and toasted herb slab a go. I know what you're thinking. He ripped up the roof of his mouth at that toast. Well, here's the deal. The microphone's really close. It picks up all the sounds. Though I do appreciate your concern for the roof of my mouth. All right, what do you say we get back to it? <laughs> that is tasty. Getting the herbaceousness from the rosemary and the bread, little bright uh, brightness and tang from the pepperoncinis and the smoky blue cheese in there. That is actually quite good. Well, I gotta say on the downside uh, of the meat and potato sandwich, there was no bread. Uh, on the plus side, man, you could have plussed this up with anything. Like you could have done a baked potato like sour cream and chives and bacon. Uh, you could do all kinds of stuff with this. So it's kind of a neutral palate. Um, I think, you know, flavor wise, I would probably give that a six and a half, but because there's no bread and it's a pain to eat, I'm gonna knock that down to about a four and a half. Plussed up with the uh, smoky blue cheese and the pepperoncini and the herb slab. I'm gonna say that's like a six, six and a half. I'm definitely gonna finish the plussed up version and save the other half of the uh, meat and potatoes to make another plussed up version at some point. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm never making this again. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.